June 20, 2020 Memorial of the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary A reading from the second book of Chronicles. After the death of Jehoiada, the princes of Judah came and paid homage to King Joash, and the king then listened to them. They forsook the temple of the Lord, the God of their fathers, and began to serve the sacred poles and the idols. And because of this crime of theirs, wrath came upon Judah and Jerusalem. Although prophets were sent to them to convert them to the Lord, the people would not listen to their warnings. Then the Spirit of God possessed Zechariah, son of Jehoiada, the priest. He took his stand above the people and said to them, God says, Why are you transgressing the Lord's commands? So that you cannot prosper? Because you have abandoned the Lord, he has abandoned you. But they conspired against him, and at the king's order they stoned him to death in the court of the Lord's temple. Thus King Joash was unmindful of the devotion showed him by Jehoiada, Zechariah's father, and slew his son. And as Zechariah was dying, he said, May the Lord see and avenge. At the turn of the year, a force of Arameans came up against Joash. They invaded Judah and Jerusalem, did away with all the princes of the people, and sent all their spoil to the king of Damascus. Though the Aramean force came with few men, the Lord surrendered a very large force into their power, because Judah had abandoned the Lord, the God of their fathers. So punishment was meted out to Joash. After the Arameans had departed from him, leaving him in grievous suffering, his servants conspired against him because of the murder of the son of Jehoiada, the priest. He was buried in the city of David, but not in the tombs of the kings. The Word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm The response is, Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David my servant. Forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward him, and my covenant with him stands firm. I will make his posterity endure forever, and his throne as the days of heaven. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. If his sons forsake my law, and walk not according to my ordinances, if they violate my statutes, and keep not my commands, forever I will maintain my love for my servant. I will punish their crime with a rod, and their guilt with stripes. Yet my mercy I will not take from him, nor will I belie my faithfulness. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Each year Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the Feast of Passover, and when he was twelve years old, they went up according to festival custom. After they had completed its days as they were returning, the boy Jesus remained behind in Jerusalem, but his parents did not know it. Thinking that he was in the caravan, they journeyed for a day and looked for him among their relatives and acquaintances. But not finding him, they returned to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. 
and all who heard him were astounded at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished, and his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been looking for you with great anxiety. And he said to them, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he said to them. He went down with them and came to Nazareth, and was obedient to them. And his mother kept all these things in her heart. The Gospel of the Lord.